Given its beauty, values, history, and identity, Somaliland is an excellent tourist destination. With its pristine beaches, blue water, magnificent mountains, historical caves, and vibrant culture, Somaliland is sure to please tourists from around the world. The people and the government feel that Somaliland is ready to welcome the world. Because of their prevailing peace, beautiful landscapes, historical sites, and warm hospitality, the people and the government are prepared to welcome and embrace tourists. Oh, I'm a tour operator from Finland and I travel a lot. This is my first visit to your country, Somaliland. And we came here to this place, Las Gel, directly from the airport. So, yes, and I was impressed. I think uh, it is very interesting and very beautiful place. Uh, for me, really good challenge to come here and I'm really happy. And to see the, the painting so close, it's, it's just amazing. I think it's the one of the only place where you can see them amazing. Uh, so far it, it has been everything, but, yeah, but I'm so lucky that I'm here. I come from Sweden, but I'm traveling with the Finnish travel agency here. We came this morning, we came from Somaliland to this beautiful, and we cannot say so much because we just arrived in the afternoon. It was amazing, but I, yeah, without guide, when I went to the first place, I thought that's the only place, and it came more and more and more, and it's our guide was incredible. It was, he was really good to explain all these things. Somaliland has beautiful beaches, majestic mountains, extensive forests and prehistoric caves. The caves, with their quality paintings, you can visit at least 10 sites, scattered across semi-desert terrain, are likely to be given world heritage status. Here is a look at some of the tourist destinations to visit Somaliland. It is part of the Golis mountain range, which crosses Somaliland from west to east, not far from the coastline. It has an exceptional view and unique natural attraction, a scenic landscape with breathtaking mountain ranges, and an atmosphere that will inspire awe in all who visit. One of the few ancient coastal settlements, Might, has an excellent natural harbor that supports lively artisan fishing communities. White sand beaches await every visitor.
Hiss was an ancient coastal settlement in Somaliland. Historically, it was the center of the place for clandestine trade ties with the Arab world, especially Yemen. Livestock and frankincense were traded for consumer goods from the Arabian side. I can say, for example, all the civilizations that existed in our area, uh, in our area, especially in the Middle East, in the Mediterranean, and in the Indus Valley, they have all ant antiques here, and they have all artifacts that have been found here, especially China, India, for example, the Middle East, Mesopotamia, uh, the Greeks, the Romans, and the Pharaohs. His, his has become has become a mercantile port where where all the where all the people from India, from uh, for example the, the Persian Persian Gulf, especially from Baghdad Basra area. A major hub for frankincense production and activities. Frankincense is one of the world's oldest trading commodities. Here, tourists can learn how frankincense is produced. The settlement is surrounded by lush trees and a constant flow of warm water. Medisho is a small farming community in the vicinity of Aragavo. Its stunning landscape will grab your attention. Medisho is a fruit producing region. Apples, passion fruit, guava, and oranges are all abundantly harvested. It is an ideal location for camping near the farms or in the mountains. Lakes are an essential element of tourist destination. Bedouin literally means big sea. It is unusual to have such a large body of water, such as this lake in a region in which water is a scarce commodity. It has an abundant amount of fish life, including catfish. You can swim in the lake and enjoy the sun in the Seoul region. Explore the historical side of Somaliland, Tele, the symbol of Darus Zayed Mohammed Abdullahi Hassan, armed struggle with the British. You can see the remnants of several historical forts and structures dating from the 19th century.
Egg Wayne, placed with freshwater lake and exposure to a nomadic lifestyle. It is the home of a vibrant and diverse forest. Tourists can enjoy its magnificent scenery. The stunning forest will inspire and touch you. It is located 13 kilometers east of Beverda, a major destination for local tourists because it has warm water springs, which is often used therapeutically for musculoskeletal disorders such as arthritis, stroke, or paralysis. Looking for beautiful beaches? Here are several for you to consider. Batelale is one of the longest and stunning beaches in Somaliland. Batelale faces both the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea. For locals, it is a popular destination for the holidays and for weekend getaways. For beach lovers who enjoy white sand beaches, there is nothing like that of Batelale Beach. This beach boasts stark white sand in contrast to the deep blue sea. A historical coastal town and trading post dating back to the Ottoman Empire. One finds remnants of Ottoman architecture, Turco-Egyptian structures, and ancient settlements. It is a central point leading to the highlands and next to a large wad probably explains the town's foundation. Its impressive ruins are spread over 150 hectares. Come explore the caves in these mountains with their prehistoric paintings on their walls. De Molay, there are megaliths depicting rock art featuring cows and other animals painted in black and white or done as carvings. It is an evergreen mountain part of the Golis Range. Those interested more than sightseeing. On this mountain, there are springs with fresh and warm water in the shape of a waterfall.
This is another white sand beach for those who enjoy and love such beaches. It is a pristine beach that stretches for miles. El Gerde is located 25 kilometers east of Berbera City. There are small desert mountains suitable for those who wish to drive through the desert by car or motorcycle. Tourists can also play games, such as volleyball, in the warm desert sand. This is another historical beach that combines beautiful seaside with a lovely countryside. The beach features blue and green waters, lagoons, and inlets. The beach consists of white silica sand that gives it a glimmering and bright color. Another part of the Golis Range, it is famous for its rich biodiversity that supports natural wildlife. The area is also rich in historical ruins and other archaeological sites. This is a rock shelter with prehistoric painting. At the Daga Kurde site, engravings of bovines and human figures are portrayed on the face of ancient rocks. The Daga Kurde rock shelters consist of some of the earliest known cave paintings in the Horn of Africa. Featured prominently in the paintings are both early humans and livestock. Rock art sites in Somaliland have provided rich and invaluable historical information on early pastoral communities. La Scale is a must-see archaeological site with amazing prehistoric cave paintings that date back 5000 to 2000 BC. It is just 50 kilometers out of Somaliland's capital, Hergesa. La Scale is a favorite site for domestic and international tourists. La Scale has an excellent physical infrastructure, which helps to make the tourist experience enjoyable. Another site associated with Las Gel is it unique and it features what is considered to be the first example of writings in East Africa. This place is an oasis in the desert. Several wells surrounded by huge trees aged more than 120 years. These are two similar 
and unique landmarks or landforms that stand out from the western plains of Somaliland. It is visible from long distances in that part of the country. The Sa'ad Deen Islands, seven kilometers north of Zayla City, is well known for its splendid coral reefs. These reefs are diverse and well formed. There are various species of coral fish and it is home for major bird colonies. A remote island paradise where its waters are filled with unspoiled reefs and its land with wild jungles. Traveling to Saadin Island means access to an extraordinary array of natural wonders. This is the second largest island after Saadin Island. They are part of Zela Archipelago that is made of six islands. This island has a lighthouse and has sandy beaches. Similar to Saadin Island, it is a site of various coral fish. Besides being one of the oldest settlements in Somaliland, Zayla is a major hub for commercial fishing, particularly for shrimp fishing. It has very attractive beaches with sparkling blue water and is suitable for those seeking pure relaxation. Masjid Kiblatane. It is one of the oldest mosques in Africa, constructed in the 7th century CE. Though now mostly in ruins, the remnants of two quibblas, one is toward Mecca and the other toward Jerusalem. <laughs> 